All right, we got Cypress Circle Cafe. I'm gonna go inside and get me a drink. This is the menu for Cypress Circle Cafe. All right, so I gotta refill a little drink bottle. It does come with a lid, which is nice because the other cups do not. This was eight dollars. Refills are dollar ninety-nine, I think she said. So just keep me hydrated. All right, so showing you the map. So we did the elephant habitat and world of primates. So we're gonna go up here to the small cats. Oh, the cougar's journey to the Houston Zoo. I got a fossa. Right, so this is the fossa's habitat. He's upside here. Taking a nap because I can see a back leg and a foot. So I'll come back later. This is an ocelot. Here's the ocelot. And we're going to African paint the dog. So the painted dogs have a nice habitat and some burrows there too. But they are all along the fence line. All taking a nap. So just like a regular regular house dog that you would have at home. These guys sleep a good portion of the day. So we got some Galapagos tortoise, got some radiated tortoise, and African spur thighed tortoise. We got a Galapagos tortoise. We got a radiated tortoise right next to the Galapagos tortoise. We got another tortoise. We got some of the tortoises over here enjoying the mud. Alright, we got some Grant's Zebra. Alright, Grant's Zebra. Your tails of swat bugs away. Of course, anytime I film zebras, I end up with a zebra butt. Just had to turn around. Thanks, Zebra. We got Encol Kettle. Tell your co worker, this is one of the long. Yes, sir. Oh, a pygmy hippopotamus. So of course, the hippo is hanging out in the water. See a little bitty bunny rabbit too. The hippopotamus has a lot of space to be in. Now we're going to see some bongo. And then with them, you got some yellowback duker. See the bongo. The second bongo. The third bongo. This is one of my favorite zoo animals. And there's a close up view of this bongo. And there's another bongo off on the side. Alright, well, I found the yellowback duker. She's got the yellow, yellow stripe on its back. Interesting looking animal. Yeah, we got American black bear. Yeah, so American black bears are not out at the moment. I'll check back a little bit later. Right, so the black bear has another whole side or habitat. I right, say so looking and looking and looking for the black bear. He's actually right between these rocks. If I can get the stupid camera to focus. There we go. There you go. 
Here's one of the black bears having a nap. Looks comfortable. So I'll still come back a little bit later, see if they're up walking around. All right, so the fossa is down. Gonna get a better look of them. African lion. Right, African lion up sleeping up on the rocks. All right, so the African lion has a very nice habitat. All right, so from this vantage point, right on top of the rocks, got the male lion and right here. And then off to the side, you got the other female. So, come back a little bit later, hopefully they'll be out moving around. Another side view of the male lion. Oh, we got a cheetah. And there's two of them. Having a nice cat nap. Alright, we got some Maasai giraffe. Alright, we got an ostrich. Got one of the giraffes. Got an ostrich friend too. Just hanging out. They got the wildlife carousel. It's going to be very popular. The carousel tickets are three dollars. Right, just so you can see where I'm at currently, I'm right here, right by the giraffes and the carousel. So I'm going to head back and do this stuff on the top that I see or missed. All right, so the Zoo's Water Play Park is currently not open. It's right behind the carousel. The other view. You have restroom locations. Oh, we got a white rhinoceros. So the rhino's got lots of space. There's a butt view, sorry. There we go. That's much better. Nobody wants to see rhino butt anyway. Alright, so we saw everything in. The cats, hoofed animals, and more section, which is the yellow. So next we're going to go up here and check out the African forest. Oh, they got this. Nice statue. This is a nice looking area with all the, all the rock work. Alright, so if you have a restroom location and a trading post, again, got all this nice rock work and all these oak trees. Plenty of shade in the zoo. Got the arrival building. Oh, we got Red River Hog. I like this guy's habitat. Man, love these guys. It's next time over there, and there's a whole little area oh, wow. okay, here. Cool. Okay, thank you. Piggy piggies. A Western lowland gorilla. Yeah, so I don't see them in this area, but I believe there's other viewing areas further up this trail. This is all additional space for the gorillas. All right, we go. Just keep following the path. These guys got a very large habitat area. Which is nice. They can move around. Sorry, I did not. This whole area has all sorts of bamboo. We just say yes. Walkways with the faux bamboo sides, the more walk, more rock work. Alright, next we go inside the Great Ape Gallery. This is how the Houston Zoo helps gorillas in the wild. So this is the Western Lowland Gorilla's indoor habitat. 
habitat. As you see, they have access to come inside when they choose to. They got decided to come inside. Chimpanzee Society. I'm over there on the side, where I just was. These guys got a very nice habitat. Lots of stuff to climb on, be up high if you choose to. This is a different view of the same outdoor area for the chimpanzees. So this is nice, got all the rock work. And you go in through this cave. This is nice. Just like you're underground, man. Really nice. Really like this distressed look. It makes it look a lot older than it actually is. Got Twiggy Cafe. And Shiny Market, small gift shop. Alright, so normally they have giraffe feeding, which is $7, but they are not doing it right now. Oh, we got some koi fish. You like the koi fish. Yeah, those are really big goldfish. Big giant goldfish, basically. Alright, so I'm showing you my paper map, just so you know where I'm at. I'm gonna be right over here in this area. I'll be checking out, there's a children's zoo. Then we'll work our way around to the South America section. South American black vulture. A great view of them from the back side. A North American porcupine. Looks like he's having his, his lunch or dinner. Got domestic turkey. Big boy turkey right there. We got a bobcat. It's a cat named Bob. Hi, Bob. Everybody say hi to Bob. That's Bob. How you doing, Bob? It's a cute cat. Better view of the turkeys. We're not looking through some mesh. Turkey just off by itself. We got a southern bald eagle. So I was looking around for him. And I just happened to look down. And that's where he's at. He's here chilling. Usually bald eagles in zoos are here because they've got injuries. This one looks like he's missing a left wing. Magnificent bird. Got a North American river otter. So I don't see it from this end. So I see people looking. Yes, he's probably going to be on the other side. So I was right. They are on the other side. That's usually where they go, they go inside, and I'm sure to get fed. It's like, oh, there's no one there, let's go back in the water. Woo! Swimmy, swimmy! We got some brown pelican. And laughing gull. And some ruddy duck. There's a laughing gull. Lots of water. 
Pelican. Got these guys around my hometown. Beach areas anyway. There's the ruddy duck. Right today we're right by the kids who has a bunch of stuff to climb on and slides. Got miniature zebu. You got llamas. There's the llama. The miniature zebu is the zebu. The llama. Who's following who? That's playing follow the leader. Got domestic pig. Here's the domestic pig. Looks like he's getting some food or a drink of water. All right, so the petting zoo area is not accessible. Not letting people pet the animals, but they are out and you can still see them. Several different goat species are in here. All right, banded mongoose. Oh, maybe this is a mongoose. All right, so you do not currently see the banded mongoose. So they're probably inside. So this next area is inside this cave. Got a couple of random tanks around. Got a tiger salamander. We got a desert grassland whiptail lizard. Cute little lizard. We got a Shiva's short tailed bat. So the bats. Be flapping around. I've seen it go back and forth numerous times. I can't see to walk by the eye. I can't see time. There we go. They're really quick. There's actually several bats hanging here. Those are the bats. Birds, owl habitat. Trying to find them. I was looking all over for the barred owl. It's here. Found them. Sometimes you gotta look all over for these animals. Got some swift fox. The swift fox has some nice habitat. It's right up here. Might be shy. There we go. There we go. What is that? They're so cute. What's in there? Alright, we got the bug house. We got a dead leaf mantis. This guy's habitat. Over here. They're a giant African millipede. Several of them in here. Look at that. The dragon headed kid did. There we go. Another harlequin flower beetle. Really, really small. Right here. 
looks like a giant kitty did. As someone pointed out the other one, a jungle nymph. The Madagascar hissing cockroach. I apologize for the loud noise. There's a lot of people in here now. Got rainbow stag beetle. These are really cool. Look all reflective. Got Texas leaf cutter ants. You can see leaf cutter ants. Leaves. Wow. Just on. Got red panda. The red panda's got a nice habitat. I apologize for all the glare, but red panda's right here on top. Yeah, South America is Pantanal. All right, that's this area. We got poison dart frogs. So we just gotta try and find these guys. Do you see one of them? Right there. Of course, some of them on the bottom. The rivers rise, fish swim in the forest. We're gonna see her right here. This is giant river otters. Not a North American river otter. These guys are three times the size of them. Up on a log. Relaxing. There's additional habitat for the giant river otter. You see them here on the log. Same spot. It's different side. see him. He's probably in the back. Around the side, can't see him. Got a jaguar. Jaguar's right behind He's its sign. Oh gosh, there's a big putty tat. Oh yeah. All tuckered out. The jaguar's habitat is fantastic. All sorts of stuff to climb on. So Jaguar has a bridge to go across for its nighttime habitat is what it looks like. But again, this is magnificent, the whole design of this habitat here. We're going to see some giant anteater, some capybara, and a bear's taper. The giant ant eaters. Got a junior giant ant eater. And one in the back. There's the capybara. Right next to him in the water. They're enjoying the water. Another capybara. There's the Barrett's Taper. 
Just got to keep walking along the path. This guy's habitat is very large. The only thing I didn't see is the greater rhea. Got a nice long nose. Got a Coscobora swan. Ooh, both ducking their heads under the water. Getting something. Also got a greater rhea. And a southern crested screamer. The crested screamer. Alright, so I don't see the greater rhea. Got this aviary. Several different animals in here. We got the rosette spoonbill. And we got a. I think it's a stork. And you got this other aviary that you can actually go into. This cute little bird. Oh wow, I love these. That bright orange beak. Or wraps around its beak, looks like. Alright, American alligator. Oh yeah. These are cute little alligators. Yeah. Another alligator. Head sticking out. All right, so my ticket includes prehistoric beasts at the Houston Zoo. All right, first up, we got a Titan boa. My gosh! Could you imagine if we still had snakes like this? Wow. We got the Allosaurus. Your friend, right? Not gonna eat me? All right. Got a sea scorpion. Whoa. That was a big scorpion, buddy. Got a Dilophosaurus. Whoo. Hey, oh boy. Got a Megalosaurus. Whoa. It's like a, almost like a mini T-Rex. It's called a Gigantosaurus. Wow. This thing looks like he would eat a T-Rex in half in one bite. Woo! My goodness. Ah, oh, Dire Wolf. Any of you Game of Thrones fans know what this thing is? Now, Wolfie. My goodness. He's called it Acrocanthosaurus. <gasps> My goodness. These poor things, man, with the short, stubby arms on the front. How do you pick stuff up and eat it? It's called a terror bird. Like a giant chicken. Woo, woo, woo. What's up, buddy? You're not moving, are you? No, oh, he's tired. All right, Dionys, watcher. Wow. So like a, sort of like a raptor. Sarcosius. Don't be surprised if I mispronounce some of these names. It's like giant alligators, man. Got a saber tooth tiger. Man, this guy has some big teeth. Look at that, wow. And a giant bear. Wow, that's definitely a giant bear. Wonder what this guy would do for a Klondike bar, huh? He'd rip your head off and eat the Klondike bars. 
Woo! Big bear, aren't you? There we go, whooping cranes. Hey. Like this habitat. The cypress trees. There we go. One got up. All right, bald eagle. It's a American bald eagle. I like this guy's habitat also. I right, got the Texas wetlands area. All right, and got the flamingos. My second favorite zoo bird. Don't tell him that though. If you see my other zoo videos, you will know my uh, kookaburra was my favorite. But then with the flamingos, we got some makoa duck and bears poachered. The a turtle also. More of uh, the duckies. I believe these are Chilean flamingo because they're not super pink. All right, everybody, I am back at the front of the zoo, which means I made my initial walkthrough. Fantastic zoo. Now I'm going to take this opportunity to do a rewalk, check out some of the animals that I may not have seen the first time or maybe try to get a better view of some of them. I always recommend going back at least once if you don't see the animal the first time. Sometimes I go back two or three times to a certain habitat. At least I try. Right, the black and gold howler monkeys are finally out. Really cool looking. And the goldest monkeys also. I think it's quick. Cockerel's Zephaka lemur. They're down a little bit closer. All right, I still do not see the crowned lemur. This is what they look like. Pat this monkey. I got the Schmitz red tailed monkey. And a Debraza's monkey. There's the Allen Swamp monkey. And the Pathos Monkey. Hi, buddy. So I'm glad all these guys are out that weren't out the first time I came by. Alright, so I came back, still no orangutan. But this is what they look like, in case you've been living on a rock, you don't know what they look like. Alright, back to the lions. Still in the same spot, but a little bit closer. There's the male. And there's the lioness. Right next to him. We get a better view of the Fulsa. Still sleeping. Still in the same general spot that it was before. And much better view of the Ocelot. It's a pretty cat too. That's an American black bear. 
He's right here. He's getting up a little bit. It's from this vantage point. See a little bit more of them. See his nose. Back at the African painted dogs. I went to lay back with his friends. The other two still sleeping. And there was a bird in there, and they all got up and sprinted over towards the bird. They also right there at their gate, where they go inside. So it's possible they heard one of the keepers back there. They're so cool looking. Don't ruin my head. Nice close up view of the zebra. Eating some hay. Mm -hmm. Here's the other one. It's like, hey, give me some of that hay. Back at the Encole cattle. More like a Texas longhorn. Well, I came back to the pygmy hippopotamus and it's in the exact same spot as it was the first time it came around. Two, two young elephants. Aww. I was like kicking, get off me! You siblings, I tell ya. Get off me, this is my hay. Little kids gotta fight. Little kids always fighting. This is Joy and Tilly. Joy is the one on the right and Tilly is the one on the left. Alright, so the George R. Brown Education Center is currently not open. This is a little bit of that area. Hopefully all this other stuff will open up soon. Back at the Meerkats. This guy's all the way in the top. He's the lookout. It's like, alright, that's all clear, guys. Okay, there's the other ones. He's all tuckered out. Alright, right at the front, I'm gonna take a look at the zoo store real quick. Got some animals on leashes, or walking sticks. Several animal type toys. You have some animal books and some activity books. You got mugs and some cups. Some other cups and glassware. If you're one of those people that can't decide between candy and a stuffed animal, well, this is best of both worlds here. All right, everybody, that was my visit to the Houston Zoo. Had a fantastic time, lovely facility. I enjoyed the bug house and also the, the amphibian and lizard building was really, really cool too. There was only a few animals that I did not get to see. Maybe they weren't on the habitat, not really sure. But a lot of the ones that I missed the first time, I got to see. Now I did show you a picture of some of the animals that I did not get to see. There were only a few. So all in all, it was a good day. Very hot, but unlike the state of Florida where I am, it's a dry heat. There's not a lot of humidity. In my state, Florida, the humidity is really, really high. You're gonna sweat buckets. But I still made sure I stayed hydrated. Lots and lots of shade here. And all the walking paths felt fantastic going to some of the buildings that had air conditioning. So I hung out there for a little bit. 
But if you like what you saw, leave me some comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's me know you enjoyed what you saw. I always return comments or questions. I look forward to hearing from everybody. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. It is growing a little bit at a time. I'm planning to go to even more places in the future. I am enjoying my Texas road trip. But by the time you see this, I'll be back home and back to work and back to the grindstone. So I'm enjoying every second of this road trip, seeing lots of fantastic places in the state of Texas. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.